What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now in this one, I've got a truly crazy story for you. A woman is getting married and she's extremely excited about it. However, her dad is less enthused and is actually pretending his own daughter's wedding is not happening. Before we get into this one, drop a like if you're excited for it and make sure you are subscribed to my channel for daily stories just like this one. Here we go. My dad is pretending I'm not getting married. So, my dad has always been a very show-off person. Announcements about grades, telling everyone how great his daughters are doing, telling off my sister for having a job he can't show off. When he divorced from my mum, he was a good parent for a while. And then he met Eva. Eva is way younger, has had a lot of work done, and used to send him flirty messages when he was still married. They got married very early on in the relationship because they've known each other ages. She told him not to text us too much because we are adults. She checks his phone all the time. She forbade him from seeing us Christmas Day or St. Stephen's Day because he needed to be with his new family and it would be disrespectful to her for him to see his ex-wife. Overall, she's been an absolute nightmare and he follows everything that she tells him to do. Now, I'm getting married and I told my dad that he is invited, but she is not. I've met the woman once and I don't like her. Plus, I know my father isn't a great person and he'd be making jabs at my mum about being older than Eva, etc. To make it fair, my mum's boyfriend is also not invited, although he is a sweetheart. My dad's answer to my invite has been to pretend nothing is happening. I sent him a save the date and he sent me a thumbs up emoji. He hasn't asked me one question about the wedding, not even the venue, even though he told me shortly before meeting Eva that he was looking forward to me and my sister getting married and how excited he was. Myself and my fiance are different religions and cultures, so everyone's had lots of questions about how we are handling that. It turns out he hasn't told Eva I'm getting married and he hasn't told anyone else, so he's just planning to say he has a work trip and come to the wedding. I don't actually think he's going to show up. I think he will say he is going to and then not show at the last minute, but my sister thinks he'll show up with her and make a whole scene because he told her Eva has just as much right to be there as your mum. Has anyone else dealt with something similar? Do I need a backup to walk me down the aisle? So there we go. That is it for the original post. Before I give my thoughts, first of all, let's get into some comments I've picked out. Someone has said, I just want to point out that your dad is in an abusive relationship. His new wife is cutting him off from his family, his support system, so she can have more control over him. He probably won't be allowed to go to the wedding because she's not invited and probably wouldn't have been allowed to even if she was. Now your dad is a jerk all on his own, but I think it's important to recognize that he's still capable of being abused and that it's happening. OP replied to this. Yes, they both suck. He has always been a cheater at least three other women during the span of 10 years that we have evidence of. And I think, no evidence, that he was cheating on my mum with her. So that's why she's constantly monitoring his phone and not allowing him to leave the house. We told him not to marry her and that her behavior is very concerning, but he seems very blind. Someone else commented below. It sounds like he wants to come and he knows that the only way of him coming without his wife is if he lies about it. He's risking getting caught to be able to go which speaks volumes about their relationship. But if she checks his phone, you're causing further risk of her finding out if you keep messaging him about the wedding. Stick to phone calls so there's no record. I hope he can make it and there's no drama. To be honest, that was kind of what I was thinking as well. On the one hand, yes, he's a terrible person. We can see that. But it does also seem like he wants to come. Opie replied to this. I rang him the first time to tell him I was getting married and then sent him the save the date the second time asking if he was coming. I didn't know that he hadn't told her at the time. I've got no idea why his wife wouldn't let him go to his daughter's wedding though if she's as amazing as he says. And then finally, someone asked OP why his mum's boyfriend isn't invited. OP said, there's far more drama if I include him and exclude Eva. It's not worth the headache. My dad for sure will not show up if I invite my mum's boyfriend and not his wife. My mum understands that even though my dad is not the best dad ever, I still want him there. They haven't been together that long, so she's okay with her boyfriend staying at home. Plus, then he can stay with the dogs and she doesn't have to worry about getting a dog sitter. Most of the family is going as well, so there's nobody else to look after them. Okay, so there we go for the first post. That was actually posted back in March 2023. And about six or seven months later, we got an update. So stay tuned for that. We're going to get right into that. But I have to just say, off the bat, 
I can't work out who is more in the wrong here. OP's dad or his new wife. Maybe they're both as bad as each other. I'm not sure. Get in the comments down below. Do you think that OP's dad wants to come to the wedding and is not telling his wife about it because he knows that she won't want him to come and he's gonna come, but he doesn't want anyone to know about it? Or he's making up excuses not to come and just doesn't want to come anyway. I I'm not entirely sure myself. One thing I do know is that his new wife, and I agree with the first commenter there, is being abusive. She's so controlling. She's not even letting this man see his own kids. Now, you could say that he needs to put his foot down and just do what he wants to do. Maybe it's not as easy as that. Or maybe he doesn't want to. I'm not entirely sure. What do you think? Get in the comments down below. But for now, let's move on to the first update. Actually, sorry, before we get into it, the more I think about it, the more I'm just thinking that your dad is probably a horrible person. He cheated on your mum so many times. And now it's got to the point where your mum, OP, is having to accept that her lovely new boyfriend can't come to your wedding because of your dad's new partner you know what nah i think your dad is just a terrible person anyway let's move on so it turns out my dad ended up telling eva about my wedding and telling her that she was invited to the wedding to avoid problems she got herself a dress booked a hotel etc my dad tried to convince me to invite her but his biggest selling point was that he thought it would be an amazing time to introduce eva to my mum and my mum's whole family why would he think my mum would want to meet this woman is beyond me and that she would feel excluded otherwise. He always rubs his new family in our faces, even calling it his new family. He keeps cancelling every dinner he sets up with my sister due to some emergency involving Eva or tells us to call Eva mum. Both me and my sister are way beyond the point of calling some random a mum since we both moved out and he's being ridiculous also you guys already have a mum. he called me again and again trying to convince me and i said no explaining that i knew the only reason he wanted to bring his wife to the wedding was to upset mum, and that i wasn't going to let the two of them do that he makes jabs at my mum every time he's around her about how great his new wife is i thought the whole thing was over until i sent him some information about the wedding and i guess he started feeling guilty and told us that he booked the flight for eva as well and he booked himself on the same flight as my mum. He changed his whole flight plans just so he could be on the flight with her. So that my mum and Eva could still meet. AKA, he could rub his new wife in her face and try and screw with my wife's head by putting her down and making comparisons. And then Eva would just go off and shop while he was at the ceremony. I'm not sure if this is true or if he was going to try and bring her to the wedding and hope she didn't get kicked out. I'm trying to convince my mum to change her flight so he can't get inside her head 12 hours before the wedding. I don't know if I should uninvite him. OP, come on. You absolutely need to uninvite him. Anyway, let's get into one comment that I've picked out, which I think is, is very important. And I completely agree with it. Someone said, oh my God, yes. What has your mum done to you that you'd facilitate hurting her? Why does he know so many details of your mum's travel plans? That's a great question. How can he possibly get on the same plane as her? How does he know? Opie replied, She is the main reason I haven't uninvited him yet. She keeps saying I need to have a relationship with him and be more understanding. He knows because he asked and we figured he was trying to avoid being on the same flight as her. Well, to be honest, guys, I just find this really sad. It just sounds as if your mum is a wonderful, wonderful person who's just been completely trodden on for who knows how many years by your dad. Yeah, obviously the affairs are obvious. That is clear. But, you know, more minuscule things like her just pandering to him, I can imagine, and him wanting to do something, her in reality wanting to do something else, but always having to do what he wants, etc, etc. You can see this sort of emotional abuse that must have been going on throughout their relationship. And I think it's come up here. The way she is still saying, no, you guys need to have a relationship with him. She's clearly a lovely person, but does she really think that? Now that she can clearly obviously see that he's just a terrible person. Like, the plain thing sums it all up. He is actively trying to get his new wife on the same flight as his old one to rub her in her face. What, what a terrible person. What, well, and then she just goes shopping? Ridiculous. The only reason why he would possibly want to get on the same flight as her is just to show off. It's disgraceful. And look, y your mum sounds like a wonderful, wonderful person, but I actually do think at this point you need to protect her and say, you know what, mum, he is not coming anymore. He's not getting the same flight as you. He's not getting any flight. He's just not invited. You can bring your boyfriend. I don't care. Like, I'll see my dad another time. That's between us. It's unfair on you. Now, there is actually one more update to this posted after the wedding. 
that comes from December the 17th, 2023. Let's get into that. The wedding has happened. It just took a bit of time to update because it's my life and it all went south and was too raw to try to write in a coherent way. It still probably won't be super coherent. Oh no. Well, spoiler alert, my dad got uninvited. Well, that is good news, I have to say. OP then just quickly sums up exactly what has happened so far. My dad was acting weird around the wedding. Turns out he told his new wife she was invited when she was not. When it got close to the wedding and I told him to tell her, he got his wife a flight with him so she wouldn't feel left out and then purposefully chose to be on the same flight as my mum so that my mum and his new wife could meet, in inverted commas. OP importantly then says he has a vindictive streak, so we knew he was trying to upset my mum. All right, so the update. I asked him to change his flight because he had specifically asked me what flight my mum was on so he could avoid her. That's the words he had said. And my mum was flying with my grandpa, so it would have been quite hard to change their flights to avoid him. Okay, that right there just proves he's vindictive. Outright lying to his kids to be on the same flight as his ex-wife by saying, I want to avoid her. Disgraceful human being. My dad told me he'd changed the flights and that he'd invent some lie to tell Eva. He also said I was a horrible person for not believing him when he told me that he had not booked the flight out of spite. But he told my mum he booked the flight on purpose so that she could meet his new wife and what reason would there be for wanting them to meet other than to be a jerk? True. And also, they could meet at any other point, couldn't they? Why does it have to be on the plane on the way to your daughter's wedding? Ridiculous. I thought the whole thing was resolved. And my mum really was adamant that she wanted my dad to be there. Because I don't have a great relationship with him. And she knew it would have meant the end of the relationship if I uninvited him. Fast forward to two days after the conversation. My dad rebooked his flight and sent me a message to say he had changed flights. Then that evening, he calls me. I answered the phone and I could hear someone screaming down it. It turns out that Eva got her hands on my dad's phone, read the messages where I asked him to reschedule the flight, and she rang me, shouting down the phone that I am unhinged. I'm a horrible person. I'm effed in the head. She said that I'm so weird because I'm in my 30s and I still talk to my parents. This one was really weird. Am I meant to stop at a certain age? And that I'm jealous of the fact that my dad has a new life. I was very calm and said that I'm sorry she is upset, that the issues around the wedding aren't really related to her directly, and that my dad was trying to upset my mum. I also said my mum's partner is not coming either, so it wouldn't be fair to have her there. She started shouting that my mum was a fat old cow, and I lost it. I absolutely lost it. In this whole thing, my mum has said nothing bad about Eva. I told her I never had any issue with her until now, but that she is a crazy female dog who is super controlling and that I was so glad I never invited her. Then I hung up because by that stage, it had been two minutes of her shouting at me and I didn't feel like there was any point in talking any longer. The whole time this was going on, my dad was in the background saying feebly, oh no, don't be mad at her while she was shouting down the phone at me. Anyway, next day my dad calls me and says that Eva was upset because he didn't tell her about changing the flights and that I was awful for responding to her like that. He also said, do you really think this is my fault? And I said, yes. And he said, do you really refuse to take any responsibility? None of this would have happened if you'd invited her like I asked you to. And I said, does he actually think he has any say in my wedding when he didn't even ask me what type of ceremony I was having, never asked to see my dress or get involved in any way, monetary or otherwise? He asked me if he was still invited and I said, obviously not. He then told me to be careful what I wrote in my messages to him because she was monitoring his phone and I said, I'm not speaking to him again, so that won't be a problem. The wedding was good. My mum walked me down the aisle and there was nobody there to cause drama. So in the end, it all worked out for the best. The whole thing was just a lot more dramatic than I originally thought it would be. We thought he might end up not coming because he was too entangled in his lies. But for sure, I did not expect that call I got. And it was very close to the wedding when all the drama happened. Okay, so there was at least a good conclusion to this. The wedding went as well as expected. That is good. And ultimately, that is the most important thing. 
So as long as the wedding went well, I mean, look, there's probably always going to be some sort of drama around a wedding. That's good. We can at least relax a little bit around that. I mean, imagine if he'd come storming in last minute with Eva. That could have been truly awful for absolutely everyone. So that's a little positive at the very least. But again, the person who I really do feel the worst for in this is OP's mum. She just seems like such a kind, genuine person that has just been, as, as I said earlier, trampled on by OP's dad. It's so sad. She just deserves a lot better than this. But again, at least she got to experience a nice wedding of her daughter, walking her daughter down the aisle. Yeah, probably not what she imagined, but nice nonetheless. I actually feel worse for your mum OP than you because I feel like you are just better equipped to be able to deal with this. You've shown throughout this entire story that you're pretty strong and you don't really necessarily care what other people say. If you think a certain thing, then you're going to do it. And I respect that a lot, even when it comes to people in your close family. Fair play to you. And I completely agree with what you've done at the end there as well. Saying to your dad, there's no point. I'm not going to message you anyway. So who cares who sees it? Your dad remains an embarrassment. Imagine saying to your own daughter, by the way, can you not text me? Because, uh, yeah, my new wife checks my phone when I'm not looking and she might see it. I mean, I mean, come on. What is wrong with your life to say something like that? And Eva is obviously just a horrible witch. But yeah, uh, I just hope your mum has a nice rest of her life. She is my favorite amongst all of us. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this one. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want another story similar to this one, it's on screen right there. Also linked down below if you're on another platform. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a like on this one if you loved it. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow for some more Reddit stories.